Good morning, CHS. I'm Nate. I'm Jacob. And we're back for some more CTV, CTV News. News. Hey, dog, where have you been this summer? I've missed you. Well, you know, I've been here and there. I got stuck in the Aborigin Outback. I had to fight off polar bears and rattlesnakes just to survive. Wow, man. That doesn't mean the time when I had to wrestle off those lions in Antarctica, though. All right, all right. Enough of this jibber jabber. Let's get to Emily Dingler for the weather report. Hi, I'm Emily Dingler with your weekend weather. Today is going to be a gorgeous day full of sunshine. The high will be 87 degrees with a low of 59 degrees. Tomorrow is going to be a great day for tailgating at the Buckeyes game. The high will be 86 degrees. On Sunday, it's going to be another bright and gorgeous sunny day with a high of 84 degrees. And it'll get outside and enjoy the summer temperatures before pumpkin show weather sets in. Thank you, Miss Emily Dingler. If you missed the announcements this week, we have some important information for you. Fishers are taking the ACT this October. The last day to register is today. So if you have any questions, head on down to the guidance office and talk to Miss Schooley. The College Fair is next Wednesday from 6.30 to 8 at Taze Valley High School. Go Bucks! Attention all seniors, financial aid night is October 3rd at 6.30 in the auditorium. Keep checking for scholarships in the guidance office just to the lovely and magnificent Miss Reimer. And if you're in Key Club, membership forms are due today. So make sure you get those in the Craylick's room. And now let's turn over to my old pal, Ike Miller for sports. <laughs> Hey, I'm Isaac Miller, your favorite sports anchor, here with the mid-season update. Our volleyball team defeated Fairfield Union this past Tuesday. Our football team has already doubled their wins from last year going into night 2-2 two and two to play London for senior night. The boys soccer team tied Logan Elm this past Wednesday. The girls defeated Hamilton Township 2-0 to zero this past Wednesday and played right after the boys against Taze Valley this Saturday. Our cross-country girls placed fourth out of 16 teams in this past meet and go to Lancaster this Saturday for their next one. The tennis team had a big win against Bloom last week and had their last home match yesterday. The boys' golf team scored a 351 this past Tuesday, the best 18-hole score under Coach McConnell, and the girls' golf team finished well in this postseason MSL tournament. Well, that's a wrap for this week. Come back for more next week. Back to you, Nate and Jacob. Thank you, Ike. Let's keep up the good work, Tigers. And Nate... Let's try to keep that score under 100 or sectional. And Key? <laughs> you are too funny, Reimer. Now let's send it over to Coach Swabaugh and our very own <laughs> Mad Diggity Dog and Boo Diggity Doo. <laughs> All right, boys, we first running this week. We got to go hard. We got to have a good practice. Let's go. Yes, sir. All right, All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Right. Ah! Yeah. Right. Ah! Right. Right. Ah! Ah! Right. Ah! Ah! Pups sure know how to do it. I mean, you're not left, Nate Dog. Here on CTV, we are starting a new segment called Tiger Spotlight. For this segment, we will feature teachers and students here at CHS that are making a difference. We would like to spotlight the one and only Miss Hoffman. Miss Hoffman is the best teacher, and I love her as a librarian. She is a cool teacher, and she does really good at her job. Thank you. I am so glad Mrs. Hoffman took over the media center. She's been my only friend the past three years. Love you. Ms. Hoffman, you always know how to make my day when I walk in in the mornings. <laughs> Every morning I walk into the school, I ask Ms. Hoffman what's for breakfast, and she says steak and eggs, so she makes my mornings. I love Ms. Hoffman. She makes my heart happy. Like the one and only Ms. Hoffman. Congrats, Ms. Hoffman, on being our first Tiger Spotlight. Thank you, Jacob, and thank you, Nate. Thanks for asking me to be the first uh, Tiger Television Spotlight. Um, I'd just <laughs> like to say it's been about three years, Nate, since I've been here at the CHS. Yep. And uh, don't tell Mr. Hoffman. Shh. He did tell me that I would love working here. And guess what? He was right. Mm -hmm. Keep sending your fan mail and Tiger Spotlight nominations to Tiger Media Arts or find us on Twitter. We'll see you next week. Hoo, hoo. <laughs>